How you doing? I'm fine. Can, can I get a selfie with you? <laughs> yeah, you can get a selfie. You can get a selfie. Prime Minister, you have just come, greeted some passengers who came off on a Canada Rouge. I know you missed the last week, the inaugural flight. Yes. But how are you people? You all smile. So how are you? Well, I'm very happy to see all these passengers. It seems as though there was a full flight in and a full flight out. And um, very interestingly, not only are the nationals of St. Vincent and the Grenadines coming and going, and uh, many tourists, but interestingly, this batch going out, you have a lot of medical students. Some are to Canada, but some are going to Toronto. And there's a short hop from Toronto to New York. It's easier for them to do it that way than to go through the hassle of anywhere else. So, so people will make their own connections once we have a, a hub. And, and Toronto is a hub for certain other cities nearby. And uh, I know Glen Beach and Sesmaki are working on others. I like the pace at which it is picking up. It will improve as we go along. But we have to have the facility for the passengers to come and, and we are building it. And um, people know it's happening. One more thing, PM. Uh, it is overwhelming, but it's almost a year since the airport is in operation. Yes. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good about it. Ten years ago, when this place was all bush, and uh, houses and mountains. If I told somebody that we'll see a direct flight from Canada near Canada at an air bridge, they say, yes, crazy man, yes, crazy man, yes, crazy man. <laughs> but I ain't so crazy. <laughs> no, you have to take risks. You have to have the vision. And people know it, you know. People know it and they appreciate it. And um, I want to thank the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines for giving me the opportunity to work hard at this vision. A long-held dream for them. And it's, it's making progress. Thank you. All the best. Thank you.